black men often um, they can understand oppression in terms of race because they experience it themselves. But when you ask them to consider how race and gender might intersect and what that might look like in terms of, you know, sexist patriarchy and how they might also be complicit in the oppression of women of colour, that there's often a kind of unwillingness to kind of recognise their own um, role in certain systems of oppression. I think misogyny in Islam is a real issue in terms of Muslim men very much face Islamophobia but don't see how their actions can kind of harm the progress of, of Muslim women. If you take a look at like the history of white supremacy, the white woman was always the counterpart to the white man and it's interesting that we always, we critique the white man and like the white hegemony and the patriarchy white women have also been able to hand out oppression and they've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. Oppression exists on axes, so like you can be white and also be a woman, be oppressed in being a woman but also benefit from being white. And I think it, it is, again, it's very complex because you have to deal with you being oppressed but also that you might have some privilege in terms of other people like as a cisgender black person i'm i'm aware that i might be complicit in the oppression of transgender women of color so i have to always kind of prioritize their voices and think about when i'm called out or think about what their lives mean and how they would interact with everybody else and yeah and what that means for our overall aim of kind of um, getting rid of systematic oppression.